Hi guys, so I thought I'd jump on and just do a little update for my YouTube channel as well. Um, so obviously Boris uh, laid out his roadmap yesterday for coming out of lockdown. I know obviously dates are depending on rate of infection and stuff like that, but at least I've got some dates to work towards now. So 29th of March, potentially my bootcamp classes that I currently do online on Facebook will be going back outside but at the moment I'm just waiting for clarification on numbers like how many I'm allowed to like have at a class but yeah 29th of March that's good 29th of March as well um, my PT clients that I currently train in an outdoor public place one to one can potentially come back into the, my back garden to train um, which is good news as well and then the 12th of April my gym can open that also means that i can get back down to the gym myself and start really pushing with my training for my shows at the end of the year um, my coach has said that she wants me to potentially start shredding in june so that gives me two months to do a really hard push at the gym um, to like kind of build some more muscle before i shred so that's good news and then in may i think it's the 17th of may indoor fitness classes can commence so before lockdown i was running a monday night class in a in a like a hall um but obviously from the 29th of march i'll take that class outside and i said inside please i'll take that class um, outdoors because the weather will be nice and it will be lighter evenings but obviously come may if i want to do a class indoors then i can so like I said, these are dates that we're just working towards at the moment in my industry, uh, not set in stone. There's nothing to say that maybe when the kids go back in a couple of weeks that the R rate or the infection rate is going to go up. So potentially dates might have to go further back. But yeah, it's, uh, it's good news. It's been nearly a year since obviously we went into the first lockdown. Um, I've had to adapt my business quite a lot over the last year. Although online has worked and I've managed to keep my classes running online, I've managed to train my clients one-to-one -one online as well. I am getting to that point where, where it's getting to be spring now, I really, really want to start getting out and uh, see more people in person, obviously socially distanced. I want to get out more in the fresh air and train people outside. I can't wait. I think spring and summer this year is going to be special. Last year, obviously spring and summer, we missed out on that. And I didn't start my outdoor classes till September. So it was kind of like autumn and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. So it's weird, you know, my business, this business has been running for nearly a year and a half. And a good 12 months of that has been during a pandemic. So to come out of this potentially on the other side with a strong business, a strong following, a strong client base and a strong brand I'm really really proud of myself and I think everybody that's been able to kind of overcome anything that's kind of hit them over the last 12 months you should be really proud of yourself I could have literally just said you know what I don't want to do this anymore it's getting too hard obviously I'm homeschooling as well I've got my own training that I'm doing for my own shows at the end of the year which I've never done before but I kept going because I just had a feeling that things would get better and there would be a brighter future. So after hearing Boris yesterday, I did feel really happy. But obviously, if people go mental um, when the kids start going back to school and mixing when they shouldn't be and all that, then obviously the R8 is going to go up and we're going to be back to square one. So hopefully everyone will play by the rules, although it's getting to people. There's some conspiracy theorists out there that think this is all rubbish. That's fine, you have your opinion. But when your actions means that you're keeping everyone else locked up, that ain't fair. Impacting businesses, impacting people's mental health, impacting children's mental health, because they're, they're being kept out of school. So yeah, my little boy can go back on the 8th of March. I am nervous, but I'm excited for him at the same time. He needs to interact with other kids. He needs to start doing some teaching properly in the classroom. Um, I need some time back for myself. You know, I've been with my boy solidly for the last two months. 
So yes, here is to a brighter spring. And if anyone's got any questions about my update, please let me know. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.